Hi ho folks, Chris here from the Javelin Tech Team. And in this session, I'm going to introduce you to some fantastic new functionality that is available with the release of SolidWorks 2015. Let's take a peek at the Insert menu, where we will find the Model Break View tool. This new tool will allow us to generate broken views of our models in a similar manner to the creation of a broken drawing view within a SolidWorks drawing. We can use the Alignment section of the Property Manager in order to determine the orientation of the planes that will be used to break up the model view. We can then navigate over to the Styles tab to determine the style and to what members the break will apply. We'll also take the opportunity to set the gap distance between each side of the break and the intensity of the shape that was chosen above in the style area. Let's flip back to the Steps tab and take a look at adding another break to our view. We'll take the opportunity here to make a few little changes to our first break and adjust the spacing between the two planes to better suit our model. Let's apply those changes and then move forward with the next break. Once I've started the new step by way of the Add Step button, I'll rotate my view orientation to get a better idea of what reference geometry I'm going to need in order to create the next break. It looks like from this orientation I'm going to need to make use of the right plane as the reference geometry for the next series of breaks. We'll repeat our earlier steps of positioning the break planes in the correct positions with reference to our model. Let's apply our selections to the model by use of the Apply button. After rotating back to our isometric view and taking a closer look at our model, we can see how the non-essential center data has been removed, allowing us to document the design within a tighter area. Let's take a look at the Configuration Manager where we'll notice that the model break view has been stored. From here, we can hide or show the model break view in a similar manner to how an exploded view is activated. Now that the model break view is complete, we have it directly available in the drawing environment by way of the view properties. Stay tuned and keep an eye out for some of my other tech tips, where we'll take a look at the model break view functionality within the assembly and drawing environments.